Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Here we're going to be taking a look at moon pools. Now this is something I've been super excited ever since we heard about the potential of this when they were talking about the uh, compressed gases update. And of course we've had the update for a while now. They've hopefully stabilized it for the most part. I'm not having any crazy overt big issues. So with that I want to dig into moon pools, look at them, see how we can make an amazing functional moon pool. And what better platform than the RSV Akimbo platform that we see here. I've taken the liberty of marking out where I want a potential moon pool here. So when we go to the workshop, we could actually see this kind of orange area where I want to start cutting into. And of course, this is going to be me also learning as I go. So it's not quite a full tutorial, but rather the journey of which I discover how we can make a good moon pool. So Without further ado, let's begin. So like I said, if you want to do this on your own vessel, you got to have a vessel that you can open up to the sea. So obviously beneath this, we have to make sure that there's nothing in the way. Now I'm not quite sure if I want my moon pool to be this large. It's not something that I've yet decided, um, but let's start with a smaller area here. I guess what a good sort of frame of reference would be would be my mini sub because i want to be able to deploy my mini sub from the moon pool so you can see that i have some batteries here it's not a big deal but let's sort of maximize where we can put this so it would be like that and then we have this engine or motor over here so we can't quite do it there so we could go up to that point and here I could even do it like that and then just paint this. So this is sort of the boundary of the moon pool that I can sort of see me working with. But let's load up one of the mini subs and see exactly what we can do. Now, how big of a mini sub do I want to go? Let's go the little sunk V2. So if I bring it over. Yeah, it's a little tight for that hole it would not fit most likely well it would but it would get real close to the edges so we can expand this hole really it's just comes down to moving this motor or fully removing it altogether but the easiest fix i think would just be to spin it around and we have to do that on both sides so we'll just take this and boom so that is now taken care of. Same thing on this side. I'm just gonna take this and spin it around so it's not in our way. And we could expand the moon pool now by an extra two blocks because we have one on each side. So there we go. Now, the moon pool itself has to have doors and obviously it can't be open to the top and bottom. Well, it can, but then it's gonna flood if they fixed it. I know I talked about that in another video, um, how they were cu currently unable to have the proper sort of fluid dynamic effect. Uh, but if and when they do fix that, then that's something that won't really be. Um, you couldn't have an open air moon pool that also has pressure, right? It would just be open air and open to atmosphere, kind of like what I already have on the RSV Avala. We already have a open to top moon pool but here we're going to take now these door frames and i have a tutorial where i discuss how they work so if you are not familiar with door frames make sure you watch that video and pretty much we just go ahead and make this here now with the moon pool this size to be honest i don't know if i want to have a door at all that is let's say closed and whatever or just have it full on open i my preference is probably just to leave it open and now currently if we just close this off seal it off then there's going to be air pressure in here and this chamber should actually keep water below this level and we could see pumping in and out sort of what happens exactly but what i want to do before i seal this off like that is add some sort of structure where i can actually enter it like a door now I think something cool and modern like this would be quite nice. 
And then once we seal this all off, we can go ahead and put an area with sort of a door and an entryway. All right, I made a door, ladders, and raised it up a little bit. So with that now, if I spawn this in at the most basic form, let's just see what happens. Now note, this is my first time as well. So let's see what happens. Whoa, right on. Well, there we go. Moon pool is done. Of course, the water has gotten into this area a little bit, but all things told, not bad at all. So that is the first step in making a moon pool. So as you can see now, this is functional, but what I want to do is have the ability and the control to sort of play with it a little bit more. So first thing I want to do is put a barometer in here because the barometer will tell us what the uh, pressure is. Now, I am going to be adding a couple of different things. So let's put a barometer. Let's put a gas meter because I do want to learn about how much gas I have in here. Also, I want to put a liquid meter because I want to see exactly the amount of liquid that we have as we pump it and pump out the gas or the air. So that is our starting point there. Obviously, I think I missed having ladders here so I don't fall into the water and not be able to climb out. So we can have a little bit of a swimming pool style. This actually looks like a swimming pool. Cool little feature. If this is a yacht, imagine you fill this thing up to here and then you have kind of like a little sun room. Obviously, it wouldn't be this tall though. Anyway, we don't want it for a swimming pool. We want it for a submarine. So we have these three sensors in here and what I also need to have is a, f a way to pump in and out air. So we're going to put that on the top here. No need to get fancy for this. We're just going to have two of these intakes. We'll put a large pump just so it pumps a little faster. So one has to be in the this direction and the other one will be in that opposite direction. Like that. All right, now we need the gas uh, relief valve. So we wanna put this on the outside and then here we actually have to move this one up a little bit and put that gas relief valve because on one of my other tests I found that you wanna have it on the outside, not on the inside. So here it's fluid out and here for some reason I didn't flip it right. So let's go ahead and flip this the correct way. There we go. So now that's fluid in. So then that down there is fluid out and we're putting these port ends. So fluid in and here, this in fact is the fluid in. All right. So left one, we're pumping, we're taking air in. So this is the pump out. Okay. We're going to add our two toggle buttons here and put them there. We'll wire everything in in a second. So this one is for the left side, which is pumping out. And this is for this side, which is pumping in. So pump out. And then on here, we'll put pump in. Okay. And with that done, we'll wire it in. We'll put it as critical systems. Why not? All right. So these buttons are all functional now and we could spawn this in and see what we have because of course now it's we ha we have a different system than what we would what we just tested earlier so just no clip to here drop myself and take a look so you could see again the water level is kind of like fluctuating on the end of course the ship isn't also perfectly level there's more weight in the rear and the reason for that is because this um, tank or this uh, moon pool is taking up the space of the fuel. So now all the fuel is actually concentrated back here. So I don't, I would balance this out, but I don't need to right now. So we could take a look at this. We could see based on this, fresh water is leaving, liquid level is leaving here, realistically, it shouldn't be fluctuating or changing that much, but we have some 
gas leaving, which is fine. Barometer in here. Now, if we open that door, will that prevent... Will this start flooding? Because now we're open to atmosphere. So really, that should be an airlock. But of course, that's not working. So they still haven't fixed that glitch that I was talking about in one of my other videos where I mentioned if you have this open to atmosphere, but, but you'd have like a door. It wouldn't just be this. It would be like a doorway. It should flood real fast, but it doesn't. So they didn't fix it. But what I want to show you is how I would propose to do this system. You'd have an actual airlock, which you'd use, and that would ensure you don't leave, like the air that you have inside does not um, depressurize and end up bleeding away. So quite simply, it would be something just like this. And it would be a two-stage process to enter. You just couldn't have both doors open at the same time. So you walk in. You'd have to close this door before you could open this door. And that way, in here, you could make sure that the pressure is... Um, it's pressurized. And here, you could make sure that this air doesn't leave up to atmosphere. So other than that, I guess we could continue our test... But what we saw is that both liquid and gas were leaving, which is an interesting sort of situation here. But it works as a moon pool. Now, of course, we're breathing in here, so technically the carbon dioxide level should increase. Yet it's dropping, which, well, it actually drops that increases. But anyway, we're going to pump in. So I want to increase the amount of gas. And you can see that the gas level is increasing now. You can see that the pressure is increasing and you can see that the fresh water is decreasing or the water is decreasing. It's kind of like funky. It's like jump it's like jumping back and forth. But we're still pressuring up. So it's dropping and then it goes up. Dropping it goes up. So that may be enough, like, what, we, what we're what currently experiencing now is possibly the water, like the air, because imagine if you've pumped enough air into this room, it finds the path of least resistance, so what it does is it escapes almost through the edge of that, and where, how we just went, that air would kind of bubble and fizz out and leave. So we don't really have to pressure pump any more in. But you can see here, that water level is kind of staying there. Now, what if we pump out? So what if we create ourselves a vacuum type situation where we can, or not a vacuum, but just a little bit lower than atmospheric pressure. In theory, then this should raise up the level of the water. But man, I'm just so happy with moon pools. Like, though, like... I was waiting for this type of thing and I was doing research way back when I first started playing and I was looking into sort of the viability of something like this and of course now here we have it so huge shout out to the developers for constantly adding things and I know it was a bit of a stressful like time for all of us builders as the as the um, game was kind of broken for a little bit but man was it worth it like just to have this type of thing is so cool so i'm trying now to pump out the air to kind of create this sort of call it a low pressure situation but i'm so happy with this moon pool right now um let's see if the water level is increasing yeah it is all right so we have created a situation where the water level is now increasing. But also we have these double doors open, which again should by all accounts mean that this water would shoot up real fast. But you can see now it's kind of coming in. And as long as we're at a good pressure, like this is fine. So it seems that it's not really a difficult process to have a moon pool in the ship. I guess the one thing that I do want to test is... Uh, having sort of an air relief valve because you don't want to suffocate inside one of these and if you have that will that 
ruin your pressure. So let's put two of them. And just like what we have on the roof of this, it's very much just a gas relief valve and this sort of intake piece. And this prevents sort of us from suffocating inside the ship. So I want to do the exact same system there and put these things here. So will this, I guess is the question, will the, having an air filtration system on your moon pool make it um, flood? And again, maybe, maybe when they update the game and fix these, uh, the little uh, glitch that we're having where you currently can't have or where you currently can have an open sort of container and it won't flood, which I find, which is unrealistic. I, I did a demonstration in one of my other videos and found that that is impossible. But right now we are having air circulating and fresh water is dropping and increasing. All right, let's watch it for a bit. All right, so it doesn't seem to be be increasing. It seems to be just be fluctuating with the tide, almost with like the ship's positioning. So if we look at that, it's riding around that 25,000 mark. So I'm quite happy with that. So even without pumps, even just by having um, these air valves or air vents that prevents us from suffocating in here it seems to be working quite well now the atmosphere is dropping because of those it's equalizing to atmospheric pressure which is my only fear because that that pretty much is the same type of situation as when we had um as when we have a, a open bottle sitting in water and the air is literally rushing out so that's the same thing as opening a door on top. So when they do fix that, then for sure they're gonna. We may have to revisit this and make sure that this works. But as you can see here, we're still riding around that 25 mark. So I don't see flooding of this, even though I'm seeing equalizing of pressure. So I'm quite happy with these results right now. But the one thing I do want to test is does having an open moon pool like this with no cover on the bottom it does it suck when it's a, a storm does it perform poorly when we have a storm situation and the ship is rocking around on waves will water flood in and eventually flood this compartment will that lead to a detrimental type of situation where our ship sinks maybe we have to manually increase this pressure and pump that water out so I've put sensors up here, or I've connected these to the barometer, the gas, and the liquid, and we're gonna take it out on some big waves and see what happens. I've spawned the ship here kind of in the middle of nowhere, so we can get some big waves as the seas kind of get rough. So let's see exactly what, but we do wanna be in motion as this happens. So as we see, there's a big, lean towards the back and if I'm just watching my liquid level is dropping gas level is dropping too barometer is equalizing but that could just be my um, vents on the top but now if I turn up the wind all the way let's go all the way and see exactly what it is that happens So we were actually pushed all the way forward. That liquid level is like, because remember, we were at 25,000, kind of at a natural state. So we're at 40, we've doubled, 50. So we're definitely taking on water in that compartment. is a decent amount like that's double so that's adding a lot of weight in that room you could see even here it's kind of flooding up to that level but as long as it stays there that's okay if it gets much higher than that 50 then we might be in trouble so when you do turns and stuff when you kind of let the air in that water will flood see 60 because we kind of went off onto the side, and then some of it came out. 
Now this, granted, is pretty much a hurricane, like we're at 100% wind, so this isn't necessarily ideal, well, definitely not ideal weather conditions, but it's not flooding all the way. We can see that it's, like, fluctuating enough. We're getting that, like, 50-ish, but then it doesn't quite fill all the way, so let's take another turn here and see what kind of trouble we get into. Well, it's back at 25. You can see like that, now all the air drained out because we got literal air. <laughs> and now we're going right into the wind, which isn't the smartest. Let's go with the wind instead. But yeah, every time we get air, the water will fully drain. All right. Kind of impressed by the stability of this ship, to be honest. Even though this isn't ideal, let's get back. Our little, um, our little stabilizers are doing their best here to try to save us. All right. So you don't really want to stop in a wait in a storm, but here we are fully stopped. So let's see what happens to our moon pool. Oh, 70, 80, okay. Now we're flooding. Oh, and it's dropping. It's turning us into the wind, which is fine. But now here we are at that 80, and then some dropped out. So it seems like, I mean, without doing this for an hour, Kind of like as a first conclusion, I would say that it's not the an end of the world type situation if you are in a storm with a fully open moon pool. I mean, 80 is pretty bad, but it's not flooding 100%. And as you can see, our air is still at atmospheric, so something something is up. I mean, with those uh, filters, because or air kind of. Um, air circulating tools, whatever, because it's letting it go down to atmospheric, and yet it's not flooding that compartment, so that's actually good. Now if I stop the wind, let's see what happens with this. So this is kind of hanging out at, oh, it's letting in, letting in more. Let's go down there. Take the most circuitous route. Alright, in here, and that's closed. Now open this. So we can see the water level is high. I mean, we can't even stand. We're still swimming in this whole area. But what's weird is that our gas level is decreasing. Okay. Our water level is increasing. Well, is it increasing? No, it seems to be kind of steady state. But if now I want to pump in air, it should push this out. But that's only the thing. It should push it out. Is it actually going to? And how much do we have to increase the pressure in this room in order for it to push it out? But if we watch this, we get the water level dropping. So that's a good sign. Because remember, at 50,000, it's kind of like at this lip. Because if you imagine you're in an area with like a laboratory around here, you don't want to have to be flooded by water. But are we going to hurt ourselves with having too much pressure in this room? No, it's, I mean, it's working. It seems to just be pushing all this out. And if we get to that 25,000 kind of sweet spot... I'm going to stop it and see if it starts to flood back in, or does the pressure equalize through our little vents here, but water not come back in. Because I want to, like this ship right now as it is, I can fully use this as it is in my creations, and yeah, you're in a storm, it floods a little bit, sure, you don't sink, and then you just pump it out like this, I'd say that's a mission accomplished, like that's a job well done, and then you just keep going on to the next place, so... Let's keep watching this. 
All right, we're approaching that 25,000 mark. Of course, our atmosphere, our pressure in here, it does drop. Like, we're pumping in, but also we're having these pump out. So this may be an optimal system. Because we can't be standing in a highly pressurized room. We, that's dangerous. So we actually ended up expelling most of that water back down to that 25-ish mark. It seems that it's dropping and increasing. So note that maybe because of the fuel level change, like that could be as, mu as much as it can drop out. Which is honestly okay. So I'm going to turn off this pump. And let's see what happens here. So our pressure is of course going to drop, which is fine. This here is fine. I mean, our pressure is changing. Our gas levels are flowing through those vents. But right here, are we going to stay at 28,000? Or is it going to flood? And to me, it seems like it's kind of staying at that 28,000. It goes up to 29 drops. So this seems that we can have now like a garage here. This whole thing doesn't have to be a wall. This can be a storage for mini vehicles that we then slide out on tracks, drop them down here. We could have a crane above us. Like the possibilities are endless. And this is a perfect system. I'm so, so excited to utilize this and be able to launch missions right from a closed compartment of the ship that is so cool so I'm quite happy with this test result like even here it seems to be kind of fluctuating on that mark which is a-okay um, no it seems to have increased now so now we've actually gotten to 28 29 and it's not really dropping down too much but I mean this this requires I think long-term testing but as long as we have these pumps it seems that we were able to pump out when the water was really too high. But what I don't know, and what I guess we'll have to find out, is if the sustained use of these vents are going to open this up to atmosphere pretty much and flood the compartment, or do we have to have maybe some sort of air exchange system? So instead of this, we're pumping in clean air, and pumping out the dirty air simultaneously. So not using this type of system, but rather using pumps to exchange the air inside this room. Maybe that's the only way to kind of survive because we don't want our oxygen level to drop. So we could see here that <clears throat> as the oxygen level sort of depletes here, we kind of are breathing and whatnot. I don't really see it going up, which is interesting. But also what's happening is the whole gas level is dropping. So it's not just the oxygen being depleted by the breathing of the character. It's actually the whole level of gas in this room is decreasing. So I'd say that is fine. We're using this on other parts of the ship. It's a confirmed system. But this now is weird. Like it's past the 28,000 mark and it's not really dropping down. Our pressure is dropping or not really hmm nope it's ah it's fluctuating interesting but if we pump in then this is going to increase of course this is going to drop of course so we can get it back down to the 28 so really what you can do is have a pump on a simple threshold gate and if it reaches a value you don't like like if it reaches the 30,000 for, or yeah, 30,000, sure, then this kicks on. And as long as it's below 30,000, then our threshold gate and our pump is off and we're singing. So I'm quite happy with these test results, to be honest. Um, I'm so excited to try to put this on another version of one of my ships. So not quite like this, but this is just done for visual purposes. But hopefully you all learned something. And hopefully now with this addition, I can see some super cool moon pool ships making their way through the game. Because honestly, research ships are my favorite type of ship to build here. And what is a research ship without a moon pool? So that is so cool. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the constant support 
all the comments, the views, the Discord members, everything. That is all so, so great. I'm so thankful to all of you. Keep the comments coming if you're interested in seeing other videos, other creations, all that. I just released the truck creation recently. I am going to be releasing the Akimbo, which is a super cool twin-hulled uh, vessel that can not only collect oil spills, but it can also distill them. So stay tuned for that coming up shortly. And as always, happy storm mixing, everyone. For those of you that made it this far in the video, I'm going to give you some bonus content. So what I want to do is build a vessel that has a massive moon pool right in the center of it. But I want to use the Akimbo platform as a basis, but I actually want to make it have twin islands. And twin islands mean there's two sort of bridges or two sort of superstructures. Not bridges, one bridge here, but two superstructures. And the really cool thing about these twin island boats is you don't really see them that often. You saw them like 100 years ago, 50 years ago, that type of thing, the Great Lake carriers and stuff. But I've not seen it in a modern assortment. So what I'm going to do is just like the rear here with the modern sort of shape, I'm going to apply it to the front and see if I can't make this thing a modern twin island style vessel because that would be super cool. And not only would it change kind of the way the Akimbo platform handles, I also added a large portion of deck. So it's going to be a very long ship with a lot of features, probably a big overhead crane in the middle and moon pool. I just started it, so you guys are seeing the first ever footage of my secret upcoming vessel. So if you made it this far, hopefully this is some interesting content for you and stay tuned for more. Take care, everyone.